There's something really satisfying about spending time on the ocean to catch fish for the table. Being able to then come home and take your time to prepare it and then cook it over an open fire really sort of solidifies that um, whole essence of hunting and gathering and forcing yourself to slow down and enjoy the real simple things in life. So yesterday we had a fantastic day on the water catching yellowtail kingfish with the idea of coming home and uh, smoking it on our flare fire in the smoke box. So once we got them from fishing, we filled up our kingfish and then we cut those fillets into slabs. For our brine mixture, we mix up two thirds of brown sugar and one third of sea salt. We put a nice even coating all over the fillets and then put them in a container, seal it up and then leave that overnight. So this morning we took the fillets out of the fridge, we pat them off with a paper towel to get the excess moisture off them. We then put them on racks for another hour to dry out a little bit more, which is about the right amount of time to get your flare fire going. The smoke box on the flare fire is absolutely fantastic. We use it for cooking all sorts of meat, but for smoking fish, it really comes into its own. So a couple of tips when you're um, smoking fish in your smoke box on your flare fire is not to have too big a flame. We like to have a really small uh, base there, really hot embers, and then we can just put the odd log on there um, every now and then to, just to keep smouldering away. You don't want a big open fire raging, you want to keep that heat down, but you also want to be smouldering a little bit of smoke there. And you can use manuka, kanuka, tea tree, all those sort of woods which um, will put a really nice flavour onto your fish. Um, the other thing is controlling the temperature. You've got the smoke box up inside the chimney, so you can let it down, check it. If it's cooking too fast, then put it up higher in the chimney and the temperature drops a bit further up. If it's not cooking quick enough, you can then lower it down. You want that smoke process to go on for about two hours, and when it comes out, it's, um, it's pretty much cooked through, and you've got that really nice smoky flavour in it. For about half an hour to go, I like to put a maple syrup glaze on it and that um, gives a bit of sweetness and also puts a beautiful golden colour on the fillets as well. That's really the last part of the job now, just got to let it um, finish off the smoke and it should be ready to eat. There you go, smoke to perfection on the flare fire.